School districts, including Salt Lake, Canyons, Granite, and Jordan, canceled classes today because of the heavy snowfall. Utah's largest district, Alpine, did not. ABC4's Rick Aaron is live in Lehigh with the district's explanation and what parents are saying about it, Rick. Yeah, Glenn, no delays or cancellations here at Fox Hollow Elementary School or at Alpine's other 56 elementary schools, 12 junior highs, and nine high schools after the district said no way to a snow day. Roads were snow packed and visibility was low in some areas of Utah County this morning. But around 6 a.m., the Alpine School District posted this message that their 78 schools would be open as usual. We always want to keep our schools open if possible because we have students that their parents may be gone to work and, and rather than have them left home alone, we would prefer to have them safe in a school. Emily Thompson has four children in Alpine District Schools. I'm not happy about it. I would hope that they would keep these teenage drivers off the road. Sometimes the kids don't know if their teachers are going to be lenient or not, and so they really try to get to school, and uh, we were digging cars out along the way. We have a lot of teachers coming from out of this area, and their drive is treacherous. I think that safety needs to be first and foremost always with the kids and the education secondary. Emily and Jamie weren't alone. By mid-afternoon, the district's Facebook post received over 2,200 comments. Matt Christensen called it a big mistake. Chrissy Law said, quote, no teens or anyone else for that matter should be driving in this. And Elena Johnson said, quote, you are sending thousands of people into extremely risky conditions. Stevenson said that many parents chose to keep their children home. Numbers were down significantly with number of students attending. And we do have some teachers that weren't able to make it to their schools because they live in other communities. Now, Stevenson tells me that students that miss today will not be penalized for their absence. He also said that district officials are going to be meeting this afternoon to reevaluate the decision that they made this morning. Reporting live in Lehigh, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. All right, Rick, thank you. Lots of questions yeah. I'm sure are going to be debated tonight. Yep, no doubt about that. So 